Hi there, Ashley Reeve here. Welcome to another quick trade video. It's good to be with you guys. We're about to look at our weekly snippet and what's in store for the week ahead. But before we get started, please note that QuickTrade is a licensed financial service provider, as well as a licensed over-the-counter derivatives provider, and myself, a registered representative working under supervision. I'm authorized then to offer a couple of recommendations, but remember, risk and reward and the execution of your trade still remains your responsibility. So as I mentioned, we're here with our weekly snippet just to have a quick snapshot of what's to be expected for the week ahead. Uh, it will come through by email. You'll see right at the top there, our quick trade uh, heading. And then, uh, you know, just to look forward to in terms of, uh, you know, the dollar, what's expected in the U.S. system. Uh, you can obviously log on to various sites for you to get a little bit more detail about the actuals uh, that's being forecasted. Uh, but you'll see that in this coming week uh, is expected to be another event for one is markets brace for the Fed chair Jerome Powell speech at the annual global central banking conference in Jackson Hole. That will be this week on Friday. So expect some volatility. It's obviously regarding interest rates and inflation. That's obviously taken a big toll on the global system. And so, you know, because we follow the U.S. very, very carefully, we want to see what that uh, expectation and what that results will be of that uh, meeting. And then elsewhere on the earnings dockets, there are just a handful of corporate results still due as quarter two earnings season winds down. That's inclusive of Salesforce, uh, Zoom Video, Nordstrom, and JD.com. And then obviously you guys know what we saw a little bit of movement last week. Uh, U.S. equity markets are still likely to remain volatile amid the uncertainty about the future direction of interest rates with investors seeming to be moving to the sidelines after a powerful summer rally. Uh, and so what we then look at is our CFDs and a weekly forecast. We are looking at Brent's. There does seem to be a bit of sideways a movement in a tight range. And obviously then that applies to WTI because they do correlate uh, positively. Uh, also gold uh, is the fear factor instrument of choice. Look at those words there. And as mentioned last week, the US dollar and a 10 year US treasury note yields move uh, uh, inversely proportionally to gold. Uh, that simply just means that if gold is moving down, you'll find the dollar index move up and vice versa. And then uh, from a indice perspective, we saw that the S&P, the Dow and the NASDAQ is a little bit down. And we're going to see what happens this week, especially just before that announcement on Friday. There could be movement, uh, you know, between tomorrow, which is Tuesday and uh, Thursday. And then we see if uh, it does lead up to a nice quality setup then for Friday. And then lastly here, we do have a Forex pair that we're also looking at. That's the Euro JPY. Um, we're looking for a weekly push to a resistance level at 139.861. Please plot these levels in here as suggested on your charts before entering them. Also, uh, pull up your position size calculator as we do uh, give them to our clients to be installed. Uh, and then once you have done that, uh, please make sure your risk and reward is, you know, is up to date and it makes sense before you enter that trade. I'll be back again uh, on Thursday for a uh, update to see what has happened with the charts and what price has done uh, from now up until then. Uh, but then I'll see you and just for interest sake, my month book here uh, that I am reading uh, is from Bruce Whitfield. It's called Genius, and it's how to make smart ideas uh, global. That's Bruce Whitfield with a book called Genius. This is Ashley Reeve for Quick Trade, signing out.